Hey there, Calvary Assembly. God, hope you're enjoying this very summery day, 90 plus degrees in Northeast Ohio. I'm sure your air, air conditioning is pumping. Hope it's working for you. Hey, I just want to thank you so much for who you are as a church. You know, not only do you carry the name of Christ, you love God. You love people. You don't just claim it, but you show it. You prove it. You, you give in so many ways, shapes, and forms. You know, this week I've received so many uh, emails and texts and, and uh, thank you notes even in the mail from people part of our church, people who may be different than me, come from a different background, different ethnicity, who've reached out to say, I'm so grateful for the Church of Jesus Christ at Calvary Assembly of God. And I want to just extend that on to the church. I want you all to just recognize that, that people of, of all different backgrounds that Jesus loves and came to save enjoy the love of Christ through the church of Calvary Assembly of God. Thanks for contributing to that spirit of love and unity and compassion and consideration and the ability, you know, sometimes love is something you do. Sometimes it's the, the ability just to even do nothing and just listen. The ability to just be considerate, to be quick to listen and slow to speak. And I want to just say thank you for leaning into learning to do that. I know I have to continue to learn to do that. And, uh, and by God's grace, I'm going to extend the same grace God's given to me, the long suffering God's given to me, and, and I'm going to pass that on to other people. And, and I hope, church, that we can continue to look more and more like the love of Jesus on display uh, within the church and on display for our community and uh, learning to love others and, and just be sympathetic and empathetic uh, toward where they've come from, what their experience is. Ask some questions. Be considerate. And let's promote unity in the church. Amen. Let's continue to be that church to the Lord's glory. Um, man, I, I get excited about that. I feel God's pleasure on that. And uh, we just pray that the uh, systemic racism in this country continues to diminish. Uh, and I pray that the church of Jesus Christ, man, will just continue to rise up and just suppress the oppression, you know. For the glory of Jesus. Hey, uh, speaking of relationships and one another, I'm, I'm missing you. We are, we are right around the corner from getting back together. Can't wait. June 28th, Sunday the 28th of June. We're going to open the doors of the church, worship again together, uh, about a 60-minute service or so, and uh, lean into the Word of God together. And, and again, please pray for us. We're really aiming to honor the Lord as we've sought Him, and our leaders have done a great job of seeking God and making wise decisions. We're still making them, but we're looking forward to getting back together on the 28th in a way that will serve you well, serve the people of God well, serve our community well, respect you, be considerate of you and your needs, your health, you know, uh, even your comfort levels here in the church. And so um, I think in, uh, I'm thinking of it this way, Calvary Assembly of God on, on, the, on the 28th of June is going to be a no contact sport, right? We're, we're going to be a place where uh, we're going to respect our space, okay? So when you come on in, we're not going to be hugging. We're not going to be uh, shaking hands. I know we naturally do those things. It'll, we'll have a learning curve probably on week one or week two. Uh, Air fives work just fine. A smile goes a long way, right? Hey, good to see you with a smile. That means a lot to somebody, right? Um, so we're going we're gonna to be doing that. Um, when we, when we come into the worship center, let me just give you a little bit of a flavor. Um, our ushers are going to intentionally serve you and seat you from the front to the back, every other pew. Uh, households will be, uh, you know, spaced out uh, throughout the worship center. Again, sitting from the, you know, seated people from the front, sitting people from the front to the back. That way we're not crossing over and our latecomers have a place to sit in the back. Remember, we're going to be broadcasting live as well. So we don't want unnecessary movement. So we're going to seat you from the front. So, Please be gracious. Please be considerate of, of us as well as we're aiming to serve. Um, you may not sit in your favorite pew. Um, that's okay. Um, God's word is still powerful and his presence is still available and it's all going to be okay. Okay? <laughs> right? Come on, we got to make light of this. Um, here's another change. Um, first couple of weeks, uh, June 28th and July 5th, uh, children will sit with their parents and or guardians, whoever brings them to church, uh, in the pews for the entire service. Uh, our hope is that we will have enough volunteers prepared and trained to serve our nursery, our pre-K, our elementary, and 6th through 8th grade by Sunday, July 12th. That's our hope. Um, we're hoping that some more of you will lean in and reach out to Pastor Ruth, Ruth at CalvaryOhio.org, and say, hey, can you tell me a little bit more about serving in kids' ministry? Yeah, you know, maybe I could do that once a month, something like that. 
and uh, she can help get you prepared, trained up, and ready to go. So we can partner in ministering to your kids and together minister to a lot of families, right? So a couple of weeks like that. Uh, again, not ideal. We understand that, but you know we're just phasing back, uh, coming back in, and so we're excited about this. And I think maybe we can we can make this happen again. Uh, if it doesn't work for you to be in the house with your kids, the church house, uh, you, we're still going to be making the services available on our digital platform. Um, you know, just just some other things I might want to mention to you. Uh, people have asked questions, well, distancing and health and temperatures. Look, uh, you're a big boy and big girl. You can take your temperature at home. If you're not feeling well, stay home, get your rest, drink plenty of fluids, right? Uh, take care of yourself, like your mama would tell you, your dad or your doctor or your pastor. Um, if, if you're a little susceptible, uh, perhaps you're more at risk and you're not ready to come back to church, look, that's fine. Um, continue to be blessed by our digital ministry. It's, it's working. We, we, we all understand that. So that's a gift from us to you and from God to us. So uh, let's just kind of stay faithful with that. Come back when you're ready. Uh, people have asked questions about um, masks. Uh, well, it's, some people think, well, on one end of the spectrum or the other, I get it. Look, we don't have to get into that. We don't have to argue about it, right? You have your point of view, and I have mine, and he or she, hey, they have theirs. But because we love them, we're going to consider their point of view. So look, let me say this. Uh, somebody said, is it disrespectful to wear a mask in church? No. Um, if you feel that wearing a mask yourself will help keep you healthy, you're welcome to wear a mask. If you feel that wearing a mask yourself will help keep others that you love in the church healthy, wear a mask. Um, if you feel that you don't need to wear a mask <laughs> and others shouldn't have to wear a mask, but you feel that other people would have their tensions reduced if you wore a mask and you then therefore want to wear a mask because that's considerate and compassionate and quite loving, you can wear a mask. Uh, if you come to church and you forgot your mask, we'll have some paper masks available for you. If you come to church and you decide you want to wear a mask, the same, all right, okay? So there's no pressure on you to wear a mask. I'm just saying, let's just be loving, right? And let's be careful with our opinions. That's all. Uh, so that's the deal. I will tell you this. I'm so proud of our servant leaders at Calvary Assembly of God. Not just our pastors, but our ministry leaders, all of our volunteers. Um, they love God enough to, uh, to love you. Sometimes loving others means sacrificing. Like, I'll tell you the truth. I don't like wearing a mask. Like, I got a big old 3D jaw, man. It kind of like doesn't work for me. But I, yeah, you can laugh. I wear a mask because it helps reduce the tension in the room. Because I want to be loving and considerate for the people around me who might feel a bit more at ease if the people in the room are wearing a mask. So I wear a mask. Um, I don't like it. But I do it. Our volunteers have that mindset. Some of them do. Most of them do. We're learning to, to love like this, right? So I'll tell you, when you come to church on the 28th, those who greet you, those in the foyer, those who are serving, they will be wearing a mask. Um, and I guarantee you, they will not have a fever. Okay? So we're, we, we're putting your interest um, ahead of, of our own. Okay? So these are some of the things that we're going to, we probably... This week, are emailing you. If you are a subscriber to receive Calvary's emails, you're going to receive some of these details and um, this information and more, right? Uh, even when we dismiss, like things like this, when we dismiss, we're going to do so formally. I may have mentioned that already, but again, we're just going to be very intentional uh, to just make it as easy as possible, you know, and keep congregating out in the parking lot. You know, if you want to get together and hang out and catch up with some people, we got lots of space outside, open air, uh, puts everybody at ease, okay? So, it's not too complicated. We could do this. We could do this, Calvary or something. Yeah, we could do this, okay? Uh, I will tell you one more thing. Uh, so while we're looking forward to the 28th of June, June 21st is Father's Day. And when you tune in on the 21st, you'll notice things will look a little bit different uh, digitally. Uh, we're going to move our service back into the worship center, and we're going to stream, if technology cooperates, the entire service, and there will be some people in the pews. We've invited our primary leaders and their households, our weekend ministry team volunteers. Uh, they will be joining with us for, uh, on the 21st for a training service. And uh, again, we're aiming to learn how best to serve you on the 28th moving forward. So, so the 21st will look a little bit different and uh, it will help prepare us for the 28th. And we're really looking forward to that. So lots of things to be praying about. We're really excited uh, about coming back together. Uh, it's summertime. We're even thinking about a church picnic. Okay, we're, we're pumped, man. We're, we're getting back together. We're going to do this thing. We're sharing life together. 
Um, in the meantime, can I remind you? Uh, you are loved by God. And according to the Apostle Paul, Romans 8, 37, uh, you and I, we, with Paul, are loved by God. And therefore, we are more than conquerors. More than conquerors. Keep that in mind. Live accordingly. And I can't wait to see you this weekend. Hey, keep the AC pumping. Stay cool. God bless you. We love you. We'll see you soon.